here's a quick, easy project that you can do with just two brushes. I'm using the Dynasty Blue Ice Brush to base coat some watercolor paper in black. And then I'm going to use the Wave Angle Brush and make a tree and some brush strokes. To begin with, I'm just using some watercolor paper. This is a pad and it's six by eight inches. And I just want to start by base coating that in black. I love the dramatic color. Now, the nice thing about the blue ice brushes is they have very strong bristles, but the tips are nice and smooth. So it allows you to smooth out the surface as you apply the paint. So Let's get some black. This is the uh, DecoArt uh, uh, Lamp Black in acrylic. And I'm just going to start by basing in this entire surface with the black. And I like to lay the brush a little bit sideways because those nice soft silky tips will smooth out any brush marks. And once you apply the paint, just make sure that you've pulled one long smooth stroke all the way across so that you get a nice smooth looking surface. And you're going to see that you can do this in one coat with this brush because it allows you to apply the paint heavier. Then we're going to dry it. Now, the Wave Angle brush is a unique little brush where it has little tips that look like a little pinking shears or scissors uh, cut the tips of the brush in between. So you can get some really nice effects with this. So I'm going to start by loading it with some uh, like a yellow green color. This happens to be Irish moss and in the DecoArt acrylics. And I start with my border first because then I know how big to make my tree. And all I'm doing is pulling kind of like a comma stroke. And I just keep going and it's okay if you overlap, you know, the tail of the previous one, but I just keep going until I run out of room. Now you can see that I've got all the way around with my border and I just want to make sure that you understand what I've done to load the brush and pull the stroke. So I like to pat it on the side, not the tips, because that way all the little tips cling back together and that allows me to get these fun little points uh, at the end of the brush stroke. If I find that there's one I'm not real happy with, I can go back. And what I want to do is I want to be up on those little tips and just pull that little curve. So you certainly can go back and touch up if you need to. Now I want to do the placement for my tree that's going to go in the middle. And I'm just going to use my fingers uh, to give me a little bit of space between the border. And I want to find right where that center area is. Take maybe a little chalk pencil. Give yourself a little dot where to start and stop for your tree. So my tree is going to come down. And then decide how wide you want that tree. I'll maybe come over to about here. And instead of drawing a straight line for my triangle, I'm going to do little dots so they will be easier to camouflage. And I'm gonna connect that little top dot with the ones off to each side, so I know how wide to make my tree. I'm gonna continue using my wave angle brush, and this time I'm gonna do upside down. So I wanna start with my darker green, and this is leaf green in the DecoArt acrylics. And I'll start by just touching down on the tips. And I'll do a couple off to each side. I do one in the middle and then two more. 
Okay, so that's the beginning of my tree. Every time I load it, I'm patting it on the side to fill it, but I want to make sure that I can still see those little tips. So now I'm just going to keep doing more rows. I just touch on the tips. I don't pull. And this time I'm going to go all the way to each side, however many it takes. Keep filling up. Do another row. There, that's my first stage of my tree. And you can see when I set this down, I get that little wiggly uneven line when I just set the tips down, which is really kind of cool. I'm actually gonna use the wooden end of the brush and the dark green paint. And I'm just gonna pull up a little tree stem. Okay, then I'm gonna go to the next layer. Now this is upside down. Let me flip it around so you see what it really looks like. But I'm going to continue upside down and do another layer. So this time I can leave the dirty paint in my brush, but now I want to take that long tip and I want to get some of that lighter green color, the Irish moss, pat the extra off on the side. Okay, uh, that way the little tips cling back together. I'm going to go on top of the same areas again so that I get a little bit brighter and this time they can overlap a little bit. So I'm only loading the very top or the very long corner. Pat the extra off on the palette and just tap those on the tips of each row and now I can let them kind of overlap the other row so that they connect together better. And now I have the branches of my tree. For cleaning the brushes, I just use uh, dish soap or soap and water at my sink. Make sure that I don't get any paint dried in them to keep them. And then always reshape them with your fingers before you put them away. Okay, so now I just want to add a few little decorations. I'm going to use the wooden end of the brush to add some berries in the corners. I got some red and wipe that off and then I'm going to go with some uh, kind of a coral color. I think it's tea berry and just kind of rotate it in a little circle if you need it to be a little bigger than what the brush handle does. Now I've got orange and then I'm going to add a little star up on top of my tree and I'm still just going to use the wooden end of the brush. So I dip it in the yellow. I'm going to set down a dot. Okay, and I'm up above the tree. Now I'm going to think of a little gingerbread man. I'm going to pull up for the head, side to side for the arms. And I'm going to reload, start in the middle again, and down for the legs. And I've got a little star up on top of my tree. Then just have fun decorating your tree with different colors using the wooden end of the brush. Add little dots throughout for little ornaments. I'll start with red and then add tea berry and then some orange. You'll notice that every time you set the brush down, you get a different size dot as it runs out of paint so that you'll have a variety of shapes and sizes. So there you have it, the Wave Angle Brush by Dynasty.